What it do, Ida Crew? It's your girl Positive Ida, aka at Positive Ida, two A's on Instagram. You know me, Positive Vibes Only, Super Good Vibes Only, and we back with another video. And as you can see by the thumbnail and by the title, we are getting down to the nitty gritty. I'm addressing it all so y'all can all get y'all answers about any assumptions or rumors about me. And as y'all can see by the background, I am back home. I'm back in Jersey. But before we get into today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to Fashion Nova for this cute two-piece that I got on right now. Hold on. Let's get into it. This is a two-piece sweatsuit. This is the Atlanta tie-dye short set. And it's in the color navy. You feel me? So... I like this set when I seen it because if y'all don't know me, I'm a pajama type person. I like sweatsuits, sweatpants, sweatshirts, all that. So it was really cute and it's like something I could wear when it's like cold and hot. Like like a windy, chilly, nice day and still wear shorts and they're comfy. Like I'm pretty sure this is cotton. Right, I sleep peacefully in this, okay? So today's a chill day, and I decided to throw this on. So shout out to Fashion Nova. I appreciate you guys so much. And if you guys want the exact type of set, make sure you guys hit the link in the description box below. You feel me? Oh, let me get a slow 360 so y'all can see. Look at the pants. This is a zip up hoodie. Zip it up, go down. Got a hood. And it's tie dye. Once you hit my link, you can see all this type of stuff that I bought from Fashion Nova. You can click Fashion Nova, find the exact set that you want. It might have a different color, you never know. But yeah, I got navy because y'all know me, I like blue. I can't deal with bright colors like that. But yeah, so make sure you guys check them out. Make sure you hit the link in my description box below. Follow Fashion Nova, stay tuned because I'm going to continue making videos. And every time I have on a Fashion Nova outfit, I'm making sure that I let you guys know what I'm wearing. So, here's the link. Type, type, click on that. Click the pop-up, you feel me? Here's the outfit. And in the description box below, go ahead and touch that link so y'all can get into all of my, my baggage, you feel me? Okay, now to today's video. So, as normal, I went on my Instagram. Well, I'm currently suspended, not really. I can't message nobody for the next couple days on my main account. So, I asked my main account on my story because I could post on my story. And I posted on my backup account. If y'all don't know my backup account, hold on, let me turn down the brightness. Go follow it. It's Positive Ida with four A's. Not one, not two, but four A's. Follow all my social media. Positive Ida with two A's. Positive Ida with four A's. So like I said, it's your girl Positive Vibes, aka at Positive Vibes with four A's on Instagram. You know me, Positive Vibes only, super good vibes only, and we're back with another video. On there, I asked y'all for some assumptions or rumors that y'all might have heard about me that y'all feel as though need to be addressed. So we're going to get down to the nitty gritty and just it right now. First on the docket, we have, let me scroll all the way down. Ooh. Okay. First one is, they said that you F cam. What? I didn't even hear this rumor, but who makes this type of rumor? What do I look like effing Cam? No, no offense. Cam is like my bro, okay? And I know how y'all be like, everybody the bro. No, I can't even look at Cam like that. One, he messed with one of my closest friends. Two, I just know Cam, and me and Cam don't see each other that type of way. We have a really good bond. He's a very caring person. He's been there around my lowest moments. Like, I can sit here and chop it up with Cam and have a real conversation with Cam besides the dumb things. Like, yes, I can get angry at Cam. Yes, I can get mad at Cam. But would I ever see myself sexually evolving myself with Cam? God, no. So, that's crazy. Okay, you're fake gay when cameras are rolling. I don't know how many times I have to address this. It's not even being fake gay. I'm very, 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 very friendly <laughs> when it comes down to females who I find are attractive. So, and y'all can't even act like some of y'all don't do some certain things with y'all female friends, because that's cap. I've seen it in every type of friendship. There is some, like, you know, like I, there's a little sugar in my tank, but I never go out here be like, yeah, I'm gay for this girl. I'm da -da -da. I say it all the time, I'm straight. Actually, I say it all the time, I like what I like. Like, I've never dated a girl. I address this. However, I act with my friends, that's how I act with my friends. I'm not misleading anybody. I'm not leading nobody on and be like, yeah, I, I'm actually into girls. I never said that. I've always told females, anybody who's ever tried to take me seriously, I'm like, look, I've never messed with a female girl. I never did this. I never did that. I'm completely honest. 
So I even tell y'all what I do half the time is content. How am I leading anybody on or how am I acting fake gay? Fake gay is me really actually committing myself in a relationship and I'm not. Uh, assumption you and Eli mess. We do not mess, okay? We are cool friends, close friends. I would, I, I hope he considers me as a close friend. I hope so. Okay, we're really cool, but it's not like that. Trust. <laughs> I think y'all would know if we had something going on. Cause look, me, I can't be no low-key bitch. <laughs> I just, let me just keep it around with y'all. Like, I don't know whatever gave low-key bitch about me. I, I do give low-key bitch, hold on. But when it comes down, if I genuinely want to F with a person, I, I make sure I broadcast it because it's just about loyalty and respect. So, whenever y'all see me dealing with the person, I made it clear that I was dealing with the person. I'm not dealing with Eli. Make it clear multiple times, me and Eli are not like that. You kick it, we're cool, we make great content. So let's just leave it like that until you hear it from me or him. Most likely, it will never come ever from me. And it will never come from him, so I don't know what to tell- I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm telling y'all right now. It's nothing going on. We like, we're not even besties, but yeah, like, I just hate addressing this all the time. Like, let us be cool. Let us make us, like, make y'all great content in peace, basically. The assumption is you only hang around certain people for money. Um, I got my own money. Fuck, I need a whole fun. That's cat, because I could be profiting off of a lot of people, but I choose not to because I have genuine bonds with people. I have genuine respect for people. And one thing about me, I always say this, I will never pick up a camera and put it in a person's face until I know that we're actually friends or if we have some type of bond. I never had to hang around a person for money because I have parents. I have parents who love me. I have my own money. So that's three sources of income, me, my parents, and plus other sources. Like, what do I need other people for? Like, I've, I've yet to see anybody really pay for anything up for me. Like, like I just came to be. Like, if anything, I'd be paying for stuff, but I don't have to. But it's just like, you feel me? Like, that's weird. I don't hang around nobody for money. Like, I really don't. I don't have to. I, I'm, a, I'm a walking bag myself, trust and believe me. False. People say you're a bop. Name 10 people I slept with. Actually, name five. Five. Name five people I have ever slept with. Please. Please. And I'm talking about like you actually have proof. Not what you heard from this person. Not what you think or assume. Not allegation. Name them. And, and relationships don't count. So that, that takes off like two. Like you feel me? So like let's be real. Let's be completely honest. How can I be a bop if I don't even be around because like that for real? And if I do, it damn near seems like I'm gay. Like make it make sense. Okay, moving on. Assumption, I heard you and Nadia broke up. Okay, so if y'all seen the last couple of videos, she thought that I cheated on her with a person on 30 Days Straight, and then she decided to entertain Naima. And she continued to entertain Naima even after I already addressed the situation, so I continue entertaining a person. But I always had that respect where I was just like, yeah, like, that's still my girl. I haven't been getting that type of respect. Officially today, I'm, I, I think I'm done. I don't want to be her girlfriend or, or her wife as, as of right now because the way I see it, she was texting Naima, this screenshot, and she was checking her about another person Naima was with. I don't check Asia about any other female she be with, if anything. You feel me? Because like when you start checking another person about what they're doing, I feel like you, you have like this genuine like, oh, like you can't be doing that. No, I thought we was having fun time. You feel me? Like I don't care what Asia did. Like, why do you care what Naima doing? And not only that, she chose to stay in Dallas instead of coming to see me. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So now it's just like, is it one-sided that I miss you too much? So it's just like, damn. Like, you got what you got going on, and now you're happy. I was over here just chilling, kicking it. You accused me of cheating. I never cheated. And that gave you leeway to do whatever you wanted to do. So now in my head, I'm thinking, you been, you must have been wanted to do this. You feel me? So like, I don't even know. Like I sat here and I brought my pride down and I apologized for something I didn't never did. And she still didn't like meet me halfway. It was always, oh yeah, we're going to be together. Like, I feel like she just like, oh, well, I didn't go and apologize to me, me anyways. Like she's still going to be my girl. And sometimes you got to remind people that you're not always going to be there for them just so to see if they actually like you know so maybe i just gotta wipe my hands clean maybe we need a break maybe we need space more space more than that break that we already had because like clearly she wilding out she having the time of her life with her house and she care more about you feel me kissing on naima 
that she does care about, you know, spending time with her actual girl. And that's fine. I respect that. Now when I actually start caring and, and taking this energy and putting it into Asia or anybody else, I don't want to hear anything. Because before she said anything about, oh, well, she was dealing with Asia, when Asia got on the phone, she would flirt with her too. I'm keeping it being. She would keep, she would flirt. I didn't flirt with Naima. I said Naima when I see you was on site. She was like, why, sister? Uh-uh. Uh-uh, it's none of that. So, yeah, like, y'all can take this. Y'all can run with it. But y'all can go ahead and tell her, I, I'm I, I'm tired. I don't even know what to do. Like, I, I, I keep apologizing for what? Nah, I'm good. Okay, assumption. You really don't give a fuck. I don't. Like, I used to care a lot, and that took a lot of my energy. So, not caring. It's not saying that I don't care. It's just, like, I don't put my energy into stuff that I shouldn't care about anymore. So, uh, da, 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 da. you don't fuck with Nadia for real. That's cat. It's not, like, come on now. Come on now. I care about that girl genuinely, deeply. Dang, y'all really wanted to know about Nadia, and it's just, like, I love that girl. I really do. But it's just, like, damn, I feel like my feelings are getting played with at this point. Assumption, you like Eli. I feel like I addressed this multiple times. Like I said in the first thing, me liking him or not liking him, it comes from the simple fact that he is a cool person. I like him as a person, but me liking him relationship-wise, it can't happen. Like, I just don't see me and Eli being in a relationship. Like, I feel like we too opposite. Even that, and I feel like I'm not ready for a relationship, and I don't feel like he's ready for a relationship. I just feel like things need to go their course. Like, you feel me? Like, we're just really good friends. Like. That's it. This is not an assumption, but are you really breaking up with Na uh, Nadia? Things gotta be done. Again, like I said, things gotta be done. Uh, you're too friendly with these females and that's why you and Nadia aren't together no more. No, like I said, I explained myself in the first situation and she took it and ran with it. Mind you, Nadia is equally as friendly. Whether she broadcasts it or not, whether y'all take it at her playing or not, she does the same things that I do. If there's a fat butt, she touches it. If she sees somebody that she wants to touch on, she touches them. There's clips everywhere. Like, come on now. Like, y'all can't just pin that on me. And it's just like, I'd at least be more honest about it. I don't play innocent. Yeah, I do that. Yeah. But when it comes down to it, I knew where home was. It seemed like she lost. You and Eli are secretly dating. We're not secretly dating. I hope the, the, the other questions kind of kind of answered that. You feel me? Let's see if we have anything different. You're pregnant or trying to get pregnant? <laughs> Brother, ugh. That is the craziest one I've seen so far. Plus, if you know me, you know I don't want nothing to do with kids. Especially now I'm, I'm, I'm 21 with no kids. You feel me? That doesn't even sound remotely close to me. If I was ever pregnant, I would get rid of it. Okay. Due to the fact, if anything, I have this thing where I want to be married before I get pregnant because I cannot see myself being a baby mom. I can't see myself giving a baby to just a boyfriend or just a fling, just anybody. I want a commitment. I want a stable home. I want two parents and one house. And sometimes that don't even work out because divorce. So even say my like say I get pregnant and my husband cheat on me, I'm getting rid of the baby. That's that's how much I'm I'm trying to tell y'all like. I don't want to play when it comes down to a family. A family means a lot to me, okay? Your bitch got took. She did. That is that is not an assumption. That is not a rumor. It's a fact. And it's to the point, I'm not finna fight about it. I don't gotta fight about it. Because if it really was mine, she would have never got took. Okay. Okay. Assumption, you're hard on the outside, soft on the inside. That's not even an assumption. That's facts. Like, it's like this brick wall, but once you get into the middle, it's like gum. I'm chewy and sweet. <laughs> like, I'm really a sweetheart. I really am. It's just like, I was dealt a a bad hand growing up. So that softness kind of hardened and I became really jaded and really like hard to approach more and more as I got older due to the fact of I kept getting backdoored. I kept giving my kindness to people who ain't deserve it just because and you know it just made me more closed off i'm still a softie it's just i'm real selective now this is not a rumor but where's your bra bracelet i wear my bracelet okay the bracelet eli got me i wear my bracelet but time to time i do play fight a lot okay and that does interfere with me thinking i'm going to break my bracelet it has come off like twice and i was like oh my god did it break no so i take it all time to time so it doesn't break because it was a very valuable gift and I don't want it to break. I wear it, okay? Don't worry about it. I wear my bracelet, okay? I do. It's Van Cleef. Don't clock me, okay? Thank you. Some, this is really random. I just started seeing this. 
you and Debo messed around. Where the hell did y'all get that assumption? Please tell me. Please. Where did you get the assumption me and Uncle was messing around? When? When would we have the time for that? No, for I'm, I'm really curious because that was so random. It, it shocked my mind because like, me and Debo? Brother, uh. Brother, uh. That's M8226. Like, I, we don't, we've never seen each other like that. Never. Like, like, I don't think you're understanding. From jump when I met some of these people, it was an instant bond. We knew our roles. Dad was always up there. He on the grill. He messed with my friends. I don't even see him like that. Then we got Chris. He always gave father. So it's just, you feel me? Everybody had their role. Like, that is so weird. That's random. Okay, cool. That you are, you and Eli are brother and sister. Uh, brother and sister? I don't know. I don't know. I would say we like mirror opposites. I wouldn't say like brother and sister, maybe like distant cousins. Like that'd be cool and then not cool, but like, I don't know, brother and sister. I would probably strangle him in his sleep. He got a smart mouth. Y'all really asking about Eli and Nadia. So like to break it up to y'all, like I'm, 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 I'm tired. I tried everything I could with Nadia. Maybe we can talk about, about it. Maybe we can't, but it's just like, I'm done as of now. I, I don't know what it what I could do to make things work at this point. If she wants Naima, I'm gonna just let her have it. You feel me? And yeah, and me and Eli, y'all see us care about each other and everything, but all friends do that. You feel me? Until somebody says differently coming from directly one of us, which that would not, probably not happen. I, I, I don't wanna say never, cause that's mean. <laughs> but you feel me? Like, just respect the content we give y'all. You feel me? Like, it's just, it's just content. It's just content. Uh, let's see if I can see anything else. You still fuck with your ex. I don't. I don't even talk to my ex. I don't talk to any. I don't have exes. Clock it. I really want to clarify I don't have exes because like everything I dealt with before the age of 21 does not count as a real relationship. I'm going to tell you why. Because they're not real relationships. I've never had a real relationship. I just, I just can't. I don't see it. Uh, this is child's play and there's a reason why my mom never respected anything that I dealt with because I never dealt with a real relationship How can you respect it? It's puppy love like I, I could like a boy and it's just not you feel me until I get that real genuine Oh, we're doing this together. We're we're flying with each other. We're doing this that and the third I mean your whole family your whole family is meeting mine. I'm doing you feel me till that happens until uh, a, a boy is sit sitting down with my father and my mother I'm not in a real relationship, okay? I just had to accept it like that. I don't mess with nobody in the past. Anything in the past cannot be brought to the present. And that's no shame. It's no disrespect. It's like, we cool. Hi is good, but bye is better. Like, you feel me? Like, there's nothing for us to bond about. I heard you like Asia and y'all was fighting. I don't know if y'all seen old clips of me and Asia. Me and Asia have always had, like, a flirty, bubbly bond. Like, always. Y'all can see it Camp Cupid. Y'all can see it in Vegas trip. Like, We've always been like this towards each other. Like, we've always been fun, bubbly, a little bit flirty. Like, she's a cool person. I really do. Like, she's loud. She's fun, just like me. Like, you feel me? Like, that's like, that's my type of person. So, I do like her, but, you know, it is what it is. I don't want to, you know? I Look, I'm going through something. I'm not, it's not like that. But at the time, when Nadi was dealing with Naima, it was just like, oh, I'm kicking it with Asia just because. But nah, like, Asia's a cool person. She's very understanding. She's a very sweet person. And I fuck with her energy and her vibe. Do I like her like her? I don't know about that. I do like her as a person. This is crazy. It's all about Nadia and Eli. Okay, here's, here's one. Uh, you're rude to everybody. I am not rude to everybody, okay? I have this uh, dry, sarcastic humor, and sometimes it could come off as rude, and it's not. I came from a household where they told me I was adopted for years. Like, they found me on a box on the side of the road. You feel me? Maybe believe the whole thing. Like, come on now. Where I was raised, we have harsh jokes. So sometimes that makes harsh jokes that made me seem like it's not jokes. I'm not a rude person. I'm just more blunt and honest. And I feel as though because I held my tongue for such a long time, I'd rather just be blunt and honest about any and everything so everyone knows and understands how I'm feeling so it can't be taken like, oh, I just okay with this. I'm not okay with it. I'm going to tell you why I'm not okay with it. Doesn't mean I'm not, I don't fuck with you. You feel me? 
Because I fuck with everybody. I'm a very, I, I'm genuinely a nice person. You don't got to think I'm a nice person. You don't have to like me. You, you can think whatever you want to think. But the actions will show you that I'm a nice person. There's a reason why people still want to be around me. Because if I was just a bitch 24-7, I'm pretty sure no one would want to be around me. I promise, Pinky. I'm not an exception. I don't get special treatment at all. If I'm a bitch, motherfuckers be like, nah, she a bitch. Clearly, there's something in me that be like, oh yeah, she is positive either. Y'all may not see it so often because when I was younger, it was more brighter because I was young. And then when you get older, you experience the world. You realize the world is not so positive. But I make the best out of every situation. I see the positive in every situation because nor walking through a dark tunnel, there's always light at the end. So that's how I take it. I am still a positive, nice person. It's just not everyone can get that energy anymore. Hopefully y'all understand. If you don't, yeah. Okay, this is a good, good one that your ex made you. Cap. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, I would say we both boosted each other a lot. Like the relationship definitely boosted each other a lot. But I was definitely known before I even encountered him. And it was shown because he knew of me and I didn't know of him. Case closed. I never want to hear about that ever again. But I probably am because some people don't want to give credit where credit's due. If I was only made because of one person, I still wouldn't be a topic. Thank you. That you lived with someone, I've never lived with anybody but my mother. <laughs> Uh, keep it a bean. I had two apartments on my own, lived by myself, never had a roommate. I never lived with nobody else. I don't know how that rumor started. I have a home here in Jersey. I don't need to live with anybody else, okay? Regardless of what you may have heard, I have a home and I have two loving parents. I'm pretty sure they'd rather die before someone else come on Beyonce's internet and be like, well, she was living with me. Who was? My, my, my mother for surely be like, who? Why would she have to feel like she need to live with you if she lived with me? You feel me? Not even just that. I already explained multiple times, I'm in the process of moving somewhere else. It's a big move. Why wouldn't I go home? Like, why would I decide to be in a state probably spending money, thousands of dollars on an Airbnb to stay there until I figure out a place to move? No, that's stupid. I have a mother, I have a loving home. I'm going to be home. Last question, you and Eli like each other on the low, just don't wanna get into something serious. I don't wanna get into nothing serious at all right now because I feel like everyone's a liar. Everyone's gonna to lie to me, everyone's young. I feel like, I feel, I feel as though since we're young, we should explore life, okay? I don't want no ties or commitment to where anyone could lead me falsely, giving me false hope or, you know, like, oh yeah, we're gonna be together, we're gonna get married. No marriage, no ring, no date. <laughs> you feel me? Like, no, let's be young. Let me figure out what I truly like in a person. Let me explore other people. There's thousands of people on this earth, billions. There are people you just run into that have a great bond. Not everyone you have a great bond with are meant to date. Some things work and some things don't work out, okay? That is point my period, okay? Like, I enjoy the bond me and Elijah have. Y'all asked mainly about Eli and Nadia, and I hopefully this answered it enough. Like, hopefully. I, I really do hope and pray. And I hope y'all can respect what I said, and I hope y'all can respect them as their own people. I'm not trying to get anyone to bash and be like, well, why doesn't Eli want to date you? It's not like that. No, no, it's not. And it's not, you don't gotta bash Nadia. Bash that bitch. You don't gotta bash her. She made her choice, she made her decision. So it's just, it is what it is. And anything else, most of the assumptions were about me or sleeping around. I, I, th these people, I'm pretty sure I've told you I didn't, I didn't sleep with them. So I, I hope no one's lying on me. That would be weird. I might, I might have to sue somebody. Cause I hope a nigga's not lying on me. Cause like, don't say you crushed and you never crushed. Cause now I'm gonna start lying on you. Cause let, let me hear niggas just talking about, oh, I crushed. Who crushed? Cause now I'm going, I'm gonna spin it. I'm like, yeah, he got a little dick. Yeah, he made a weird moaning sound when he put it in. He was like, hey. <laughs> and guess what? They gonna believe me cause you already told them that you crushed. So now I'm, I'm spin it. Don't let me get that power. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully, Hopefully, I don't get any more questions like this, which I probably will because, you know, I can't control you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, comment below what other videos y'all want to see from me. Bye! Look at her. Look at her, woman, man. Look at her.